This video is going to go over what are the six best long range rifles that are currently inside Warzone after the season two reloaded update. If you do enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we try to reach our goal of 50k subscribers and click that link in the description and subscribe to our second channel. The first thing I do want to point out is when it comes to long range rifles, the Vargo 52 assault rifle blueprint is now fixed so you can actually use it inside Warzone. However, the Vargo has now got a bit of a nerf. As you can see here on the patch notes, the damage has been overall decreased for this weapon which we did consider when working out the TTKs and also the neck multiplier has been increased but it isn't too much of an increase to the overall weapon and it's not really going to make it much so it's still a pretty solid gun inside the game when it comes to like recoil control but it won't be hitting as hard as it did before also if you do go through the patch notes you'll notice that the Bren isn't actually on here anywhere and unfortunately that gun did not get nerfed however the DP27 did so that doesn't really make any sense um, so the Bren is still going to be a solid option, but let's get on into the TTK stats. So these TTKs were taken from the sim.gg website and that is mainly just for the damage profiles and rate of fire for the weapons because they don't actually have the TTKs for 300 HP which is now what Warzone has turned into. So we do have the updated TTKs for LMGs right here and we've also got the assault rifles as well which is the ones that probably most people will be interested in. But let's take a look at the LMGs first and we're mainly focusing on the second damage range because we're looking at long range weapons right here and we're going to be arranging them in terms of TTK and as you can see here the Finn Adverse Long Range Barrel is the best in terms of TTK. Then we do have the M91 which is a gun that I've been talking about for some time now and now as you can see it's probably going to be one of the meta LMGs to use for Warzone. We do have the MG82 which is a solid gun but the recoil has been increased um a couple of months ago and it just makes this gun no longer usable the brain is still up there in terms of ttk but not quite as good as some of the other options we do have the brune um is also there as well and um, when it comes to ttk so the brune's a little bit better than the brain at the moment um, and the pkm is up there too but overall as you can see they're trying to move towards a 700 to 800 millisecond ttk for most weapons now and um, so anything above maybe 900 is just going to be completely pointless so now let's look at the assault rifles which is probably going to be the most interesting ones because a lot has changed because of this 300 hp uh, so again we're going to arrange it in terms of ttk and the as44 is at the top still which we kind of already knew from before the as val is up there as well but as we all know these guns are not really long range weapons we do have the Farah, which is a super low recoil gun and as you can see here the Farah is a third fastest killing assault rifle in the game now not to mention that it's also got super low recoil as well so it's pretty much going to be a no-brainer to choose this gun i think this is going to be most people's favorite at the moment then we have the scar but the scar doesn't really have big enough magazines to even compete inside warzone uh, then we've got the amax which some people might actually go back to using now because it is a pretty solid option uh, and it's still a really popular gun the ffar is not really a long range option uh, once again because it's more of a close range gun because the recoil is too high uh, and then we've got the c58 as well which might actually be a popular gun as well especially since people have been using it throughout season two anyway and the reason why some of the guns like the cold war ak as well as the em2 are farther down on the list is just because they have super slow fire rates now and that's going to kind of hold them back to having that super fast ttk now they do have better headshot multipliers and all that kind of stuff and maybe they will rebalance some of the weapons again just because of this uh 300 hp but overall as you can see the ttk for the most part is over 800 when it comes to long range so let's get into the six class setups of the guns that i think will be the best options for warzone right now so at number six with pkm and the pkm is a solid gun it's been a solid gun for a long time uh, but overall it's just super easy to control and in terms of ttks is definitely up there with some of the best weapons so mono suppressor extended barrel which gives you recoil control bullet velocity and range tac laser the vlk optic and the commando foregrip not much has really changed with this meta build uh, but like i said when it comes to ttks is definitely where you want it to be. next we have the m91 which is a gun that i've been talking about for quite some time now but that's because it had a pretty consistent ttk before and it had super low recoil but now it's actually got low recoil and it's got one of the best ttks for a long range gun in the entire game so the m91 actually might be a really popular option especially considering it's an lmg and it's a modern warfare lmg so most people will have it unlocked and leveled up so mono suppressor is what you want to be using heavy barrel which is the m91 uh, then you want to use attack laser vlk optic and the commando foregrip it's pretty much the same as the pkm build but it definitely kills a lot quicker 
Next up we have the QBZ and this gun actually quite surprised me because it actually has now the same TTK as the Cold War AK-47 for chest shot kills at long range and it actually kills faster than the EM2 as well plus it's actually got less recoil than both of those guns so it kind of makes sense just to choose the QBZ um, so overall um, it's definitely a solid weapon to choose and it wasn't something I would expect to be up in the kind of meta category of guns but I definitely think it will be a solid option for season two, especially after this reloaded update. So for the muzzle, you do want to use the agency suppressor for the recoil control benefits and the bullet velocity. Task Force Barrel is the best barrel for Cold War weapons, Axial three times optic, 60 round mags, and a field agent grip. Next up we have the C58. Now the good thing about the C58 is that you do get a couple of different magazine options, such as the 45 round drums or the 55 round drums, which might be a solid option now, especially since we've got more health in the game. Uh, and the damage per mag is going to be a lot better too but in terms of TTK it's pretty solid it's not one of the fastest but it's definitely up there in terms of recoil control it's not the easiest to control but it's definitely not difficult either so overall it's just a very solid gun um, and I definitely recommend it most people have been using this gun for, since the start of season 2 anyway and um, so you can still continue to use this gun regardless it's definitely a solid option so we've got the agency suppressor task force barrel axial arms three times 45 or 55 round mags and then the field agent grip. Next we have one of the fastest killing ARs in the game now which is the AMAX and this is probably a gun that I'll be looking to go back to myself because I actually really enjoyed using it way back on Verdansk but now we can use it on the new Rebirth map as well as Caldera as well um, and it's going to hit as hard as it did before so we've got the Mono Suppressor, Zodiac Barrel, VLK Optic, 45 round mags and then the Commando 4 grip. My only issue with this is that I wish it had maybe like a 55 round mag option uh, especially due to that increased health now but considering it is one of the fastest TTK guns in the game you won't get everything so a 45 round mag is definitely still not too bad overall I think people that like to use more skilled weapons will be looking to go more towards the AMAX last but not least we have the Farah 83 now the Farah 83 has been pretty good since the start of season 2 most people have been sleeping on this gun in the beginning in my opinion anyway it's super low recoil it's had a consistent TTK for quite some time now and it's a very solid option but now is actually one of the fastest killing assault rifles in the game plus you're going to be landing every single shot anyway so it's definitely a no-brainer and this is going to be the kind of easy meta for most people and um, so i definitely recommend trying this gun out so gru suppressor spetsnaz rpk barrel axial three times optic 60 round mags and the spetsnaz grip and that is the number one best gun for long range inside warzone at the moment in my opinion so there we have it, those are the 6 best long range rifles to use inside Warzone at the moment. Let me know which guns you're currently using for long range and if you're enjoying this new extra 50 HP that we're getting inside Warzone. Also, we will be making a sniper support video later on tomorrow, so if you do want to check out that video, make sure you do subscribe as we try to reach our goal of 50k subscribers. Also, click that link in the description down below and subscribe to our second channel as well. We do post extra content over there, and thank you very much for watching.